Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond. Hi, we're here again with my cappuccino talking about science, development and research. Today I would like to share with you the importance of biomarkers in the early diagnosis of AKI. Acute kidney injury may occur due to different reasons. And in some cases, we are able to diagnose this quite early because creatinine rise or because patients become oliguric. However, sometimes it takes days or even a week before creatinine rise or diuresis is decreased. And in critically ill patients, it becomes very crucial to be able to make a diagnosis quite early. So, for many years, we have used creatinine. But creatinine is not, definitely not, a good marker because it does not describe completely kidney function. It takes a long time before creatinine rise after uh, GFR declines. And creatinine itself can be actually affected by several other conditions. So my idea is that uh, we should be able to diagnose AKI much earlier. Also, because today we're talking about AKI, acute kidney injury, and not acute renal failure. So we do not wait until there is failure of the kidney. We want to know when the injury occurs. And the injury tends to occur much earlier than creatinine rise, but there are molecules that actually may appear either in the urine or in blood showing that a damage to the kidney tissue has occurred. These molecules can be different, cystatin C, NGAL, NAG, or recent biomarkers like cell cycle arrest molecules like EGFPP7 or TIM2 may actually represent interesting possibilities to make an early diagnosis of AKI. Why we should that? We should do that because simply so far we were unable to make an effective prevention and protection of the kidney. And we may actually put in place actions to mitigate the effect of damage. For today is enough, but do not miss next issue of this biomarker discussion because I'm going to show you how actually ADKI, which is the Acute Dialysis Quality Initiative Group of Consensus, has made possible today to diagnose AKI even earlier than creatinine rise. And to make a definition of AKI in this condition does not mean to overdiagnose AKI. It may mean to be able to discover AKI that in the past were not possible to diagnose. So see you next time and for the moment have a nice day.